All right, guys. So I'm just uh, going to show you today uh, how to uh, remove a Jaguar. It's a supercharged uh, engine. Uh, so, guys, I, I've already taken out the uh, the fan, uh, the radiator fan. I'm just going to show you guys how to remove all these connections and the connectors and all this other stuff, guys, and then take it out. So guys, uh, some parts I'm just going to show you uh, how to do them, like the tips and stuff. And then guys, you'll be able, guys, to be uh, at the end of the video, be able to take out the engine, guys, uh, with ease. So please just make sure you just watch up to the end. So that before you, you do any change or anything or remove your engine, you have enough information. So guys, uh, we're going to remove the engine from behind here. We're going to open up this, uh, some bolts inside down there. And then we're gonna take out the wiring harness so the engine has to come out with the harness guys so it will be easy for you guys uh, to work on it to transfer the harness and stuff uh, instead of like just uh, disconnecting it from inside the engine or inside the car so it will be much more easier when it comes out with the engine all right guys so i've taken this uh the trim guys which is next to the uh so guys we have this uh this uh, passenger side so we have like uh, a number 10 which is down there you have to take it out guys before this thing comes out uh the thing next to the fuse uh this uh so this is where the number 10 goes to and then there's a number 10 up there in the corner and then this thing guys just comes out easy all right guys uh we have the uh the cooler uh, reservoir so there are two uh, 10 millimeter you take them out uh, once that is out guys uh, you disconnect uh, this uh, uh, this uh, connector and then uh, you look for like a prying to a, a, a look like, like pliers to just like uh, remove the hose uh, for the coolant but also guys make sure you have something down there to trap the coolant guys so that it doesn't flow all over the floor Alright guys, uh, this is the power steering fluid. Uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, next how to do that. Alright, these are the coolant hoses. Uh, we just disconnect them from the sides of the engine. And then guys, you disconnect them from here. And then also same to the right side. Also guys, we have this, uh, the hose uh, coming uh, for the coolant, coming from the radiator, going all the way to the engine. You disconnect uh, there is a 25 uh, tox 25 there are three of them once you do that you go down there you disconnect uh, one hose from uh, the cooler and then once that hose comes out guys uh, this thing comes out completely so right guys after you do that you, do, you disconnect a clamp just next to the uh, to the uh, throttle body and then once that is done guys you can pull this one out So guys you take the, the connector which is just right here and then guys you disconnect this uh, plastic pipe you just like apply some pressure and then it will just come out just make sure you don't break anything apart from that guys and then uh, you disconnect it it comes it as a hole the hole of it and then it makes like it makes it easy when putting it back guys because you will just put like a few parts back and then it should be able to be connected all together just like that you see how it comes out and then this is the other part guys you disconnect from right there the green thing right there and then this uh thing should be able to come out of the way all right guys uh, all this uh front uh connections have been come out so you see right here the green thing is out so uh this is a serpentine belt so guys, you can uh, take your time to uh, like memorize and then you can remove the serpentine bang because you're gonna take out some pulleys. And also uh, we're gonna take out uh, some parts uh, from the engine. So all right guys, uh, the most important thing, make sure you have something down there to catch the fluid and then uh, just take your time. Take your time with this take everything one by one so when you go down the, um, behind the engine the connection between the engine and the uh, transmission so use the 13 millimeter to get out all the balls and then guys uh, to remove uh, the top converter 
what you need to do is uh, you remove it just under the uh, under the exhaust I'll just show you in a moment how to get there so from here guys which we normally do uh, for other engines you can't like see anything from here from the back next to the transmission so you have to do it uh, from the other side so guys I took out the starter uh, I thought the, the connection going to the uh, token converter is, can be uh, accessed from the side but it cannot guys is a uh, is a bit hidden so uh, I'll show you in a moment how to access uh, the bolts so you see what is seen from uh, the starter as it and I think guys or oh, when you're still down there you can use a uh, WD-40 you can put on your uh, exhaust because the exhaust also comes out exhaust guys connected to the engine from the lower side so you have to take it out so uh, you put uh, some WD-40 to make it easy for it when you're opening it up All right, guys. Uh, this is the back of the uh, exhaust. You you might decide to disconnect from here, but uh, guys, I will disconnect. I will take out the whole exhaust to give me enough space. Behind here, guys, on next to the transmission, we have uh, two uh, oxygen sensors connected to the back. So uh, you can begin by disconnecting them. You disconnect the left one. Disconnect the right one just by pressing on the connector. It should just come out easy like that. Alright guys, uh, you see the, uh, that's out, so you can do for the uh, for the front part. And uh, once that is out, guys, you can be able to open up. is a uh, is a thirteen millimeter uh, the connection for the transmission uh, for the exhaust. So guys, this is the connection for the front part. It is connected just right here next to the transmission. So once that is done, you let them loose. So you can just like disconnect them away. And then guys, one important thing, uh, all this connection here in the transmission will come out with the engine. So we have to disconnect them from back here and then you have to take them to the forward to the engine. So just pay attention guys on what uh, you'll see me doing. So it will make your work easier when it comes to when you are starting to do your work. All right, another thing, guys, uh, we have to open uh, the engine mount. So this is the engine mount, guys. You open uh, from down below where I was just showing you just right now. So this is the one I've opened for the uh, passenger side. It's just right there. I've already opened up. It's a uh, 16 millimeter. Just take it out from there. And it just comes out easy. Alright guys, uh, another thing, uh, once you're back there, when you're disconnecting uh, the hose, when the wiring harness coming back here, you come here uh, you know, through the transmission, and then you look for something like uh, a flat screwdriver, and then you can push it up, so when you push it up guys, this thing will open. So guys, once it opens like that, you can uh, just pull it and then you can pull it through down here so that it comes out and then it goes up back to the engine. So guys, it goes through there, it goes all the way to the engine so you have to pull it from the front. Same applies to this uh, front uh, harness. Uh, you open this uh, this uh, metal plate, and then you can access behind there. And then you can take this wiring harness. You can just pull it in. So guys, the exhaust is out. So this is how it looks like. These are the front uh, oxygen sensors, and then uh, these are the rear oxygen sensors. So I took out the whole exhaust. So we have a one right here, one, two here. Finally, 12. So, begin the same. So, that's what it looks like. 
from right behind there so once you take that out you should be able to be good to go all right guys so uh so this guy has to come out uh there's a power steering fluid but it's connected right here to this uh power steering thing and then from here too this one goes all the way to the rack so because the engine is coming out so we're supposed to be done guys you have to just take it out so it has to like on the side so when this comes out on the side guys everything should be able to come out and then you have to connect this guy right here connect this right here and then uh pretty almost uh disconnect from there and then this uh, pretty almost everything is out then you just open the rounds on the back once that is done guys this guy should be able to come out easy and quick so that's just the basic guys on this side there's nothing holding apart from guys uh the mount in there the engine mount if you can see that deep down there that's what's holding there so uh same thing the mount two is here you just take out the mount and this engine should be able to come out all right guys so this is another way guys uh, of removing this uh power steering other people might decide to just disconnect from here but you're going to lose fluids so i'm going to show you how to uh, replace it so you have to take out the whole power steering pump so you won't uh, you won't lose fluid so the fluid will just keep in there and then the steering will just remain on the side and then guys uh, next time when you're putting another engine you don't have like to buy a power steering or fluid it should be already in there so guys when we take this uh this uh, power steering pulley out we will be able to access uh, the two balls on the front all right this thing is out so there are two balls here on the front these are like uh, 10 millimeter 10 millimeter you take them out and then this one behind just right, right here when i'm showing you this one just going straight to the engine so you disconnect that one like you don't screw it so this is how it looks like and then it should be able to come out and then when we take the front part this uh, power steering thing guys should be able to come out okay when we go down to the engine guys there's this uh uh, AC compressor so you just disconnect uh, the two balls which are 10 millimeter you disconnect them both then uh, guys there should be nothing on the engine so on the other side guys there is an uh, alternator so down here where the alternator is guys you just take out the 10 millimeter from there and then you disconnect the wiring harness and then this side should be able guys to be clean all right the last part guys is uh, how to, to remove uh, the rounds Close the back, connecting the transmission of the engine, so they are all 13 uh, millimeter. Once you finish taking them out, guys, and then you do the last part, which is uh, connecting the torque converter. Just from there, it's a 30 millimeter tool. So it's a bit tricky, guys, but you you, you use a tool which is flexible. And then, guys, I mark this thing uh, four corners so that it tells me when when the time is when it's close to uh, that uh, place where I can be able to open it up. Once you get it, guys, it will be easy for you to uh, do it even when you're alone. All right, one last thing, guys, is we have this. I uh, have to put a metal uh, cross here, guys, next to transmission below it. So that when the engine comes out, guys, the transmission doesn't fall down. So that something has to support it. So when the engine comes out, transmission should be able to just rest on top right there. So that metal frame, I took it from behind there. So it should be able to just fit it in without any problems it should just hold in there if you look careful there guys you'll see where it will go in all right guys we come to the top we take out the wiring harness we take the 10 millimeter out of the way actually it's a head millimeter we take that one out and then we take those two eight millimeters out of the way guys once that is done we uh, disconnect this wiring harness we disconnect only one part you leave the other section so this is the one we're just coming out Take that one out like that and then you should be able to uh, come out uh, with the two section then you should pull on top of the engine all right guys so the next part we have to disconnect this uh, back part guys we have like a plastic thing guys like for uh, for fluid you open our tox uh, 27 for this thing right here you disconnect right there guys so that you can access the bolts behind here on the uh, on the engine so that you open up and then the engine should be able to come out guys there are three bolts on each side so you disconnect them and once that is done guys there's this uh 
there's this one on top here this guide for the uh, cover you just disconnect it too and then once that is done guys you should be able to access down there okay guys i've disconnected uh the connection uh for the uh for the coolant which is right here i disconnected the other one going up there and then i just opened one tox uh, 27 and then i'm gonna open all of them and then i can take it out all right guys there's one thing which is below that plastic pipe guys it's just right down there is a the connector you it's, uh, i'm just trying to zoom in it's right there with the yellow it's a connector of the yellow guys right there you have to disconnect by hand because that's gonna hold the pipe from coming out like the, the whole thing so this is the hose guys when it's out it's uh, 3 uh, tox 25 on both sides also makes it 6 so this is how it looks like guys when it's out so guys when we get back to the engine we have enough space you can see that uh, the 4, uh, four 13 uh, millimeter bolts on top so you take them out the engine should be able to uh, come out so guys I've taken it out you can see it's out all four of them and then I use like a prior to just uh, push the engine and the transmission aside and then just guys it just opens like easily it doesn't have like really tough job so it just opens easily and then uh, once it's disconnects completely guys you can go up there and then you can put something like uh, a, ho a hoister guys to just like pull the engine out So guys, we'll make sure like you have disconnected completely before pulling the engine. So it makes it easy. It doesn't like hold to the uh, torque converter. So it has to make sure that it has disconnected completely. So once it's up here, guys, I've connected this, uh, this uh, seat belt. It's a very strong, guys. It should be able to, uh, it holds out the engine just with ease. So you connect one section of the, uh, of the engine to the other. And then you connect with the exhaust on the other side. And then you can just pull it out. So guys i pulled the engine out successfully so this is the engine so that's where it came from so guys it's just being uh, standing on air so i'm just using a special tool to hold it so there we go guys so you just inspect it you make sure everything is okay so guys uh taking out the engine guys is just practically easy as that so you see our transmission guys is just being held well it didn't fall down it's just being held by the metal pad i was showing you guys so when you come back here guys you see uh, this uh this is where the, the balls going to tata converter are and then this is where the connection for the, uh, the plastic pipe that I was showing you earlier on. Mm -hmm.